Hello you guys, I've just done some testing with the Frozen Flight model, latest Frozen Flight model. And what I s seems to not get getting working is the ground steering. Um, so I can, uh, can easily tax it with uh, idle trust. So if I go up to like say 15, 16, 20 knots and uh, put it to idle it, it basically taxes very good on, uh, on idle and uh, but when turning there there is the wh where the problem starts so if i take the rudder and go a little to the right i go a little to the right of the runway and i want to wa do 180 this part I tested in the level D simulator uh, and uh, at least there with about 10, 7, 10 knots uh, you could make a 180 uh, and so if I reduce speed with the brakes to about 10 knots so there we have 10 knots this should be enough to do a 180. So I start uh, using the tiller and pull tiller, and there it almost stops. So I can can't get I can can hardly get 10 knot uh, 90 degrees with uh, 10 knots of... Uh, I ha have 60 tons in, uh, weight in the aircraft and I can hardly get uh, uh, 90 degrees of turn with full full tiller. And I don't know why that is. I've tested every parameter in the flight model CFG file and copied from PMDG and copied from uh, fly by wire and tested tested every parameter I can think of could change this behavior but nos nothing seems to change the behavior so if I have 30 knots and start uh, to so with this Very strange behavior. So there seems to be no power in the aircraft. If I go to 78 degrees, speed drops immediately. If I go to like 37 degrees, speed drops. And um, let's let's compare this with, uh, for example, PM PMDG or uh, something else. I have to change my controls, of course. So I change this to PMDG and I change this to uh, PMDG and apply and go back. And then I go to main menu and I start PMDG. I'm sorry for taking some time here but okay so aircraft select aircraft airliners and I have the PMDG 800 there and let's do some the same weight then so 2500 kilograms about 2500 kilograms in each tank and nothing in the center uh, yeah, and select this GG and 3, 0. Uh, in the PMDG we have another problem that is uh, very pronounced and that is any speed above 3 knots give you basically uh, no steering, basically very limited steering. So uh, that is a problem with PMDG, this problem is not there in uh, fly by wire. The only thing I haven't changed is fuel tanks 
and the engines. But I'm I'm suspecting there's this uh, this something else that is in play. So uh, let's see how this is doing. Uh, and we have zero knots and tiller is not moving. I have uh, rudder. So let's go to let's go to uh, about three knots. That is what uh, PMDG's limit are about to, to make a, a turn. So now we have six knots. So I reduce this to idle. Go to out in the edge of the runway. And uh, I start turning. Let's see, I'm full. I have full tiller here, but it's hardly turning. But if I may break a little to tr three knots, something like that, and make full tiller, the plane continues to turn, and it continues. Oh, damn it, what happened there? <laughs> Something have happened with the controls. I don't know what is happening here. Oh, damn it, I have to reset, I think. Uh, external. Something have happened with my controls. I don't know what happened. Let's, let's go to controls. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, controls and I have velocity PMD. Did I have ah? I have prosim running that wasn't supposed to be there. So go back, resume. No, nothing is happening. Something have happened with my joystick. Um, let's reset the flight. Uh, restart, continue. Um, so I do one one more turn to just compare uh, how how PMD behaves. Oh, something is definitely wrong here. Let's con choose another control. Um, Fly and say shoot. Something have definitely happened here. I have to check this. Uh, sensitivity. Uh, 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 joystick L axis. Uh, I've done. Let's go to P uh, PMDG. Apply and save. Sensitivity. Done. Uh, something have happened now with my controls. Uh, let's go PMDG. Apply and save. Sensitivity. There we have something. Something. Everything is. Why is this stuck here? There is, we have it. <sighs> Something have happened. Uh, with my controls. I don't know what have happened, but definitely something have happened. I will I'll do one thing. Maybe it will crash the sim, but anyway, I will remove the joystick and put it in again. So, PMDG, sensitivity, the one sensitivity there we have it centered 
So sets so that and done. Apply and save, go back, resume, and now it's working. Now, yeah, sorry for that. Uh, now we will see. I will just put some throttle in and uh, see what uh, is happening here. So, if I go to three knots on the uh, ground speed, but it so let's go to the side of the runway and see how it performs. So now I will go to idle and the plane continues to roll and now I put some uh, tiller in. Slowly, slowly, and slowly, and now I have full tiller. And the plane continues. The plane continues to turn. This does not happen with PMDG, with the Procyon flight model. And I can't understand why. I, I'm certain it can't be because of... Uh, and certain can't have to do with the 3D model because there is a thing with the 3D model that, that the, the wheel is just moving, the nose wheel is just moving a little. But as you see here, I could do a, a 180. So now let's test uh, Airbus, uh, fly by wire latest Airbus. Um, not done so many configurations. Let's uh, first change the controls to uh, use fly by wire. Velocity, fly by wire, apply and save and go back. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry for that. And aircraft selector and airline. And let's go to fly by wire and I disregard uh, I disregard the uh, weights this time. So what what you should know is that fly by wire LA Airbus 320 I've heard is possible to taxi without idle and it will start taxiing even if you're standing still. Uh, so you have to always apply brakes if you want the plane not to move. Um, this could be wrong, I don't know. I don't know this, but... So, we have... Uh, so we can look down at the tiller, and the tiller handle move. There it is, very little, but it moves. So, if I... Remove the parking brakes. So, oh, it doesn't start moving. Okay, that's that's good. So anyway, I will put some. I don't know why reverses came in. Oh yeah, I know why. So there we have. So if I just put some some throttle in. Now we have some throttle and put it back to zero. And uh, I am now 11 knots, a little too much. Now I have nine knots, so I've, I have uh, quite many many knots now. 11 knots. I push the brakes a little, push the brakes a little, push the left brake a little, but it continues continues to steer the plane on idle and the Prozen flight model just stops and if we go outside let's go outside
and uh, look at the nose gear. So we can break a little and then uh, look at the nose gear. It's skidding a little, but there's no probably. Uh, problem on idle to get the plane moving, moving and uh, tax it. It also have the nose gear very dampened, so you see how slow it goes back. I have full right steering. It takes three and a half seconds for it to go to that. So if I, if I center now, one, two, three and a half. Now it's centered. It will take three and a half seconds for it to move to center. But let's go back to uh, main menu and uh, do this test again with the uh, ProSim. So first of all, we will change to, so we don't have any assignments in the controls. So we have them in ProSim. Uh, Prosim velocity one. Uh, so apply and save. Now I basically have, have, yeah, you can see, I have just cameras in. Everything else is configured through, uh, and no assignment there. So basically, this profile removes all the assignments in Flight Simulator and uses Prosim to have the assignments. Anyway. Uh, go back and welcome, and we will take an airline, and that's Boeing 737. We will not change any weights, just put it like it is, just to show you on the external model what is happening with the nose gear. And I, I, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm, I, I really thought that uh, the that three D model should not interact with the, the ground in any way or that that affects anything. So if I start those two programs, just to have it set up, and I can start that too. And uh, it's also an irritating thing that it uh, doesn't go to idle. It starts. I have to move the throttle to uh, to have it on idle when I start processing. But I guess that's how it is. Let's put some hydraulics and so like that. Now there shouldn't be any problem with the controls. Let's go to the exter uh, external model, and if we look at the nose gear now, so I'll put some throttle in to get it moving. See, I have 71 degrees, and the now the plane has stopped. So I, I just move the gear and uh, the speed just stopped okay let's let's go to four percent and get some speed so uh, now we have four knots of speed it's 60 tons that moving four knots basically 10 kilometers power it should not stop very easy so if i slowly put in some uh, tiller to the left so first of all, you can see that the gear is hardly moving, the nose gear animation, I should say. And if I put full nose gear, so there it's there. It is possible to make. A, but I can never go to more than 90 degrees. And um, if I go back. Basically every parameter in the flight model. 
everything that has to do with contact points to extreme values to any value and I can't understand why Prosim basic Prosim flight model basically stops moving when you put too much tiller in so I would put, try to put less tiller in this time so So with 45 to 5 degree tiller, as you can see, I can so a, re a release tiller. Um, speed increases because I have 27% total. Let's go to 45. You see the speed decreases very fast. Should not decrease this fast. Should feel like there is some inertia in the plane. And so I have to So in the level D sim with 10 knots, I should be able to do 180. I, I hope I will get some numbers on this from my pilot friend also, but I don't think this is way off level D. So, full tiller. And the b plane basically stops. Can't even get to 10. 10, 10 uh, can't even get to 90 degrees, maybe 80 or something. You see, this is with full tiller, and the wheel is hardly turned. This is with full tiller. So, can it be that the 3D model affects the ground steering? That's the only thing I can think of. If it hasn't to do with contact points, weights, or or the things with uh, with with steering, uh, prosim flight model. So the main thing that should affect how the plane uh, behaves uh, on ground, it's the it's these parameters, these G parameters, or this should say. Nothing else should should uh, very few more things should should affect how the plane behaves on ground and I've tested to change this to extreme values uh, but it doesn't it basically doesn't help max speed full steering to 300 max speed decrease steering to 350 max available steering angle uh, zero uh, max speed full steering char characteristics so I, I'm stuck, I should say. Anyway, this is everything about the, this is a little about the nose wheel steering.